So when it comes to paint jobs, videos, and everything that I've been doing for the last year and some change on YouTube, this is the video that we're looking forward to. This is when the body gets painted, and this is everything. This is the best one. This is the entire series right here coming to an end. Well, not really, but the painting portion. We're still going to put the car back. And now, you're watching the mysterious untouched in and out double double found on the ground in New York channel of YouTube. Welcome to Vody Vision. Hey, so what is up and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on another video. No, I don't know if you could tell, but I am actually soaked with sweat. I'm drenched. I'm actually joining you from the future. Like I said at the end of my last video, I just wanted to come in tomorrow, this morning, and get focused. All I wanted to do was focus on the car. I cleaned it down, wiped it off, made sure every single thing was good to go, put my camera up in the window, and then I ignored it. I didn't do any kind of cinematic mixing with the camera because I don't want to be distracted. I just got here, laid it down, and then that's what I'm going to show you right now. Alright, so as of right now, the base coat is down. It is looking really good, nice and consistent and smooth. And I did the exact same thing as I did on all of the rest of the panels. I did two and a half coats. One coat over everything, and I walked the entire length of the car for that first coat. And then that second and a half coat, I did one whole panel, and then I did the half coat on the panel. One whole panel, and then I did the half coat. And that half coat is that orientation coat, and that really helps me get this color nice, smooth, and consistent because pearls, it's so challenging to get it really consistent and to not get any tiger stripage going on or any just, it just looks nasty if you don't get pearls real consistent. And doing that orientation coat or that half coat on top of that wet coat really helps for that. So right now, I thought this was a good time to mention this video is going to be kind of short. So at the end of this video, I'm going to put just a little sample of the podcast that's going to be coming out this Sunday. And if you enjoy that, make sure you check it out. And also, I wanted you to be aware that every single Sunday at 11 a.m., I'm posting a new podcast episode where I have either me and my brother, a cop with a swap, or a cool guest. Last time we had Zosh, and coming up real soon, well, that's going to be in the podcast. I'm going to tell you who the next guest is this Sunday. So check that out if you're interested. So now... It's time to get into that clear coat. Man. Me. Chill out, chill out. Everybody calm down. Dude, this thing came out solid, dude. This is probably probably the best job that I think that I have ever done thus far. Maybe even better than the Miata. Well, I don't really consider the Miata fully my job because Acura Painter helped me lay down that paint. But this, for me being solo dolo, I'm not even gonna talk about it. Just check it out.
so good. I mean, just look at that. That is crazy. And also keep in mind, rest in peace side moldings. Those are all off. Now, if you notice a couple little dust specks here and there, that's to be expected. Now, after the fact, when I go back, I'll just sand those little dust specks off, buff them, and you won't ever even know that they were there. That's just inevitable with my setup. And also, even in professional booths, little dust specks land on the car. It's not uncommon at all. Man, I don't even know what to say. This is probably the best job that I've ever done, honestly. I mean, some cars, they look a lot better in camera, but I'm telling you right now, the clarity, the lack of orange peel, and there's just a nice, very little factory texture. Man, I don't know what else to say about it, except I cannot be more happy than that i mean the results are amazing i'm not just gonna sit here keep on tooting my horn but let me do it all right if you don't want to watch me doing that then don't watch my video so it really shows i took a lot of extra time on this build and then all the cars from here on out if the money's right if the time is right if the views are right i can take my time on them hopefully that's all i can do from now on all i want to do is put out stuff like this because this stuff this stuff's something else. So now the game plan is I'm going to wait a couple hours more and then I'm going to pull off some of this tape. Anything that's like on a hard edge, like right there, for example, where the paint goes right up to the tape, I want to break that before the paint dries because there's a chance of the paint actually coming up if you wait too long. So I'm going to wait a couple more hours and then we'll get right into that. So tape is off all the edges that matter, but edges that don't matter like this where there's air separation in between it. I don't want to pull that off just yet because I want to keep the dust down to a bare minimum if at all possible. So as you can see, I mean, it is unreal. It just looks so good. And then we have everything else over here. Back bumper, half cut back bumper, hood over there. That's that BMW bumper that I painted front bumper, lift, side skirts, side view mirrors, everything. Everything is looking really good. There is no more painting to do. And man, I'm glad because I felt like this car was a lot of pieces. All right, well, I guess that's gonna be it for this one, you guys. Sorry if it was a little bit short and I will catch you on the next one. So like this video, comment, subscribe, do all the stuff. You know what it is, YouTube, check out the merch. Um. Uh -huh. um, we got a call from a wine bar about a uh, customer that was trying to leave in their vehicle. Uh, so we got there to the parking lot. And by that time, the uh, restaurant employee already had her car keys. Um, so she was just sitting down in her car and she was extremely drunk and really belligerent and things like that. But she really didn't commit any crime. So we really couldn't take her to jail for any kind of anything. Um, but at the same time, we also couldn't leave her there because the restaurant was about to close. You know, they're not going to sit there all night. She just wanted to sit there. So we eventually found out that she lives about two miles down the street. Um, and I agreed to like just give her a courtesy ride home. And the restaurant was cool with her car just sitting there, you know, at the uh, in the parking lot. Yeah, right, right. For those of you guys who do not know, if this is your first time joining us on the podcast. Josh, a cop with a swap. He's actually a police officer. He works in the city kind of near Orlando. So he's a police officer. So that's this is just one of your scenarios that's happened 50411 his segment police officer sorry i didn't mean to interrupt you i just wanted to bring mm -hmm. everybody up to speed if they didn't quite know what you meant by a call that you had yeah, yeah yeah so um i worked the night shift but yeah we were just responding to calls and yeah they called us about a drunk lady trying to you know they really no one knew what to do but i i agreed to take her home you know just two miles down the road um so I noticed that she was sitting in her car, like on a, like a tr like a plastic trash bag, like over her driver's seat. Uh -huh. I thought it was kind of weird, but like I didn't really think anything of it. Um, 
I don't, so, I don't like where this is going. <laughs> it's already getting crazy. Uh huh. So I, I told the uh, there was I had another officer on scene with me. I told him like, hey, I'm just gonna take her home and things like that. So she gets out of her car, and then she kind of turns away from me and faces the other officer. Uh huh. Um. So now I can see kind of like the back of this lady, and I'm still fa- making eye contact with the other officer. The business end. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and and um, I I turn to the my uh my partner there. I go. I'm not taking this lady home. <laughs> and he looks at me like kind of weird, like, what happened? Like, a minute ago, you just said you were taking her home. No she way. had poo-poo going Got all the down. the poo-poo. Like, the entire back area of her pants, and then running all the way down her, her back thighs, <laughs> and then down her calves. That's, that's some straight Florida swamp ass. Yeah. <laughs>